Welcome back to my Let's Play series. This is SRJ26 with Minecraft Quests. This is the second installment of showing off the stuff I've done to my base. Um, we just went over the mushroom farm and the uh, wheat farm, and I'm going to go upstairs and start showing you some of the redstone stuff that I built. Now, redstone's amazing, uh, amazing stuff to, to work with, but it's very confusing. So I'm going to just show you a couple of the cooler things. Um, if you watch previous episodes, you are familiar with um, that. The idea of having a clever little um, crafting table that's inset into the floor. It's silly, it's frivolous, but I don't know, it amuses me. And that's that's uh, half the point. Um, I've got panels on all my exit doors. That's really minor, but it's actually kind of nice. Um, but the big ones are, let me show you the big one. Uh, the dumb one. Boom, throw a switch, our lights are out. Throw the switch again, boom, lights are back on. Uh, it's pretty simple actually. What it does is it is a piston below the floor that pulls a glowstone block up and down. And above the glowstone block I simply have gravel. Um, I've actually thought about building a quest where the players go through and as they go, it's essentially timed by glowstone blocks that, oh, I'm going too far, by glowstone blocks that start shutting off as they go. So this is my redstone room. Uh, anyone that does any work with redstone, you're going to learn pretty quick that it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of space to, to really build it all up. Um, so I've got my switch over there, and then it's going everywhere. It's kind of a mess. And you can s well the, they're they're extended right now, but you can see there's the red the the piston that's extended. So that is that, and I'm going to be back down here in a second because the next thing I want to show you is not going to work. Well, it might work, but it it often requires a reset, which is frustrating. But it is back down here. Now, why did I do this all? Partially just to show the kids what you can do, because I want them to learn how to use this stuff. Um, you'll notice when, whenever I walk by something like this corridor, it's always in like FPS mode. I'm all, always walking like that. And the reason is that I've had creepers explode down here. So I'm a little uh, antsy. I try to be strategic when I move around. Okay, this is the next one. Cobblestone generator reset button. Push one times. Regenerating cobblestone here only. So. We'll see if our cobblestone actually regenerates. It did not. All right. As I said, it seems to need resets. Let's go downstairs and see if it is uh, completely red. There's a cycle that, uh, there's a circuit that the current goes through. And that current should be fine, but it seems, I, I'm sure I've got something wrong here. Uh, maybe one of my, if one someone watching it can tell me what I did wrong, but look at that. So why is it stuck like that? That's what I don't get. This stuff is confusing enough. But somehow, somewhere, this current got screwed up, and I've got to unscrew it. So there we go, and then there we go. And I guess I gotta redo this one too, that's a pity. Okay. And there we go. And that's it. Now we should be able to go reset it. The reset button I put way up top. Um, in fact, you probably already saw it because there was a thing that said reset button. And that was so that I would never have to come down here to reset my cobblestone generator. Obviously it's working really well. So let's go hit the reset button, and then you will see it work. And the reason I made this is so that if the kid said, Oh, can you give me some cobblestone? You have admin powers. I could tell them to go to the magic cobblestone regenerating thing, and it would replenish its supply on its own. Uh, that really works better if it actually works. If I have to go and reset the damn thing every time they want cobblestone, well... That's kind of silly. But mostly I did it just to, not really to show off as much as just to show what you can do so that they might want to try stuff too. And there we go. I kind of like this part. I like having it up here. I don't even know why. Sometimes it'll miss a beat and then eventually it'll come back up. 
So you can stand here and get cobblestone all day. But that's boring. So that is the magic cobblestone generator. And the base has a few more new things, but nothing really major. I've got uh, my ample supply of uh, sugar cane to be able to make paper to make bookcases because my sweetie loves to read and I thought she might want bookcases for her uh, for her base and I'm gonna go back in and let me see is there anything else I can show you uh, yes two things one thing is that it's a very very well hidden switch that reveals the love shack. No, the, the secret uh, bedroom. Yeah, the bedroom. And I'm going to show off my most secret secret things. It's the obligatory, obligatory hidden treasure chest, which I hope suddenly doesn't become empty. I don't know if uh, the guys on the server are actually watching this podcast, but if they do, you know, please don't take stuff. And if you do, it's not the end of the world. I'm an admin. I can give it back, but please don't. Go get stuff for real, really. And that is that. But what would a base be without a, well, you know, the Batcave or, you know, any any superhero's lair? Well, I'll, I'll actually back up so you can see it. Oh, I'll step on the chest so you can, okay, laugh at me. There you go. Button, boom. This is the drop chute that used to be uh, much simpler. And there we go. And that is my revised base. So, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, got a little taste of some of the crazy stuff you can do with redstone and with your base. Uh, you maybe have already done all these things, but I wanted to show up to you anyway. And until next time, uh, pretty soon I'm going to get to introduce some of the people on the server, I think. Which will be exciting, because I'm sure you're tired of listening to me. So until next time... Uh, have a good night. Bye-bye. Happy questing.